This code is going to show you how to take a drawing that you already have and put it into a function. So you can just call a function to get whatever item that you want to draw. What I've got up here is a regular program and right here it draws a small guy. This clears the screen. Here we draw an ellipse for the head which is basically a circle since it's 10 by 10 and we draw lines for legs one for the left arm, or excuse me, one for the left leg and one for the right leg, a line for the body, we're not being very fancy here, two lines for the arms, left right arm, and then we flip the display so we can actually see what we've drawn. Pretty straightforward, maybe something similar to what you've done in like for instance lab three where we created a picture. If I run this, I can see that the head's drawn right here, I've got the legs, they're showing up here, and the body's that center line, and the arms are the two sloped lines over here, and then I flip the display just as I want and where I want. But what I would really like to do is convert this into a function so I can take this guy and say, draw a guy here, draw a guy here, draw a guy here, draw a guy here. Or it can hook up to the mouse or a keyboard, and I can move the guy around. That's where I want to get to, but all I've got right now is just this drawing code. So we're going to show you how to put that into a function. First thing I want to do is take this code and move it out of here and into a function. I'm going to take the code, select it. I'm hitting Control X for cut, or I can just go edit cut up in the menu. And then I'm going to move up to kind of near the beginning of the screen. I'm going to select after I define the colors, because I'll probably need those colors in my function, but I'd like the function to be one of the first things that I define. Then I'm going to paste the code up here. This doesn't make a function yet. I need that definition for a function, so I'm going to call it def draw underscore stick underscore figure. And what do I need? I need the screen, just like I had in the last video, and an X and a Y of where to draw it, along with a colon. Right now, the computer has no idea what code is part of the function and what code isn't part of the function. How do I tell it what code is part of the function? I need to indent it underneath it. So I select the code that I want to be part of the function. This whole size down to here is not part of the function and hit tab. This is the code that I've copied up here. So I've taken the code that was in my main program, copied it up here and pasted it. Pretty simple. And if I run the program right now, nothing's going to happen except a blank screen pops up. Not much of an advantage, but it doesn't draw the figure because why? I've created this function, but I have not called it. I need to go down here after I clear the screen and before I flip it, and call draw a stick figure. And I'm just going to use 00, zero to begin with because actually right now I'm ignoring where I've asked to draw the stick figure. Run this. Hey, my stick figure guy is back. But I can't type in something like 200 and 200 expect the stick figure to be anywhere else because if you take a look at the function by taking XY I don't change where I draw anything all of this stuff that says the coordinates here do I change that based upon the XY that comes in no I always do 100 100 or 96 83 I don't adjust it based upon the requested adjustment that's coming in so let's do that let's see ellipses First one is an X right here, so I'm going to add plus X, and the second one is a Y, so I'm going to add plus Y. This 10 and 10 are the height and width of the ellipses. I don't want to change that based upon the XY that comes in. The XY is where I'm not scaling up and down the guy's head based upon where I want to draw it, so I don't add XY there. The legs, remember with a line, this right here is the XY the XY of where the line starts, the XY of where the line ends. In this case, the second two numbers don't have anything to do with scale, and I do want to adjust both sets of numbers based upon what XY comes in. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to copy this, Control C, and paste it here, paste it here. For all the X's, 
Again, not here because this is a size for ellipses and, and not an X or Y. I'm going to copy this, paste it here. This is a really simple first step to get this thing to work. And if I go down here, I can draw a stick figure at 200, 200. I'm going to control C to copy this line. I'm also going to draw a stick figure at 0, 0. Let's see if this works. Okay, this kind of works. I do have a stick figure right here. And this guy is not drawn at 0, 0, though. And this guy is not drawn at 200, 200. So why aren't the stick figures being drawn where I actually want them to be drawn? The deal here is this guy's actually drawn at the original location. 0, 0 is up here. And the guy is drawn down here. To see why, or in this case, why if I say 200, 200, it's drawn way down here. Let's take a look at that function. If I specify 0 for x and 0 for y, I'm going to get 96 plus 0, which is 96, and 83 plus 0, which is 83. I'm not actually moving this guy's head to a 0, 0 location at all. It's not really where I want it. It's where the original location was. I just offset it even more. If I make this 200, then I'm going to add 200 here. And the computer will move it down by 200, 200. But still, it won't be at 200, 200. It'll be like, like 296 and 283. How do I fix that? Well, it's pretty easy. I need to take a look at all the x's going through here and find the smallest x that I've got. This is a 95. That's pretty small. Is there anyone smaller? I don't really think so. And I also need to find the smallest y value. This looks like the smallest y. And all I need to do is subtract the smallest x and subtract the smallest y. And then instead of drawing it at like 83 96.83, it'll draw it at the, well, minus 83 and 95. Let's go ahead and do that. And in fact, you can even get the computer to do the math for you. Let me show you that. For every x, I want to subtract 95. All I need to do is go through all the x's. And then all I need to do is subtract for all of the y's, which is like the 83 here. I need to double check to make sure I've got them all. Oh, looks like I'm missing a minus 95 right here. So we got minus 95 for all these x's. And I got minus 83 for all these y's, minus 95 for these x's. Oh, I don't have the minus 83 for these y's. And I think that looks fairly complete. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And indeed, now my guy is up here at 0, 0, where I specified it, and at 200, 200. Not too complex in order to be able to put this together. If I really wanted to be fancy, I could actually do this math. 96 minus 95, I'd go ahead and make that 1. 100 minus 95, I know that's going to be a 5. And I could do that for the rest of them as well if I wanted to clean this up a little bit and not have so many operations in there. It's optional. You don't have to. But that is one way you can get something that you've already drawn into a function so you can draw it wherever you like and then you're set to go.